On today's show, we are here at Tame Work Holding, and as the name would suggest, they're a global leader in work holding solutions. They would go as far as to say there's no puzzle that they cannot solve, but we are here today to put them to the test. Welcome to Swarf and Chips. David, today is going to be a masterclass in work holding from the Godfather himself. But before we get into your products, why is work holding such an important part of the machining process? It's an incredible part, Joe. The, the big issue is that people buy a fantastic machine and they forget completely about the work holding. Pretty much until it's too late. They get the machine, land on the floor. Well, what am I going to do? They haven't thought about it. What are the consequences of having inferior work holding? Poor. Poor precision, poor finish, takes a lot of time, multiple issues. Mm -hmm. And you, you obviously are in-house expert in work holding, that's what you had when you had a real job. So what are your thoughts on it? Why is it so important? I think it's, it's extremely important, as David mentioned, I think it's one of the key processes um, or elements of the, key, the, the engineering process to have the correct work holding solution. And I think utilizing the work, the work holding envelope and maximizing your investment is key and, and from the smallest investment you get the best return of investment in my opinion. Geo often mentions something on our, on our programs about presenting more components to the spindle. How often do we go around and we see a, a VMC with one part and nine times out of ten that machine stood idle. Um, so how can zero points help this? Well if you look around our own shop it's smothered with zero point because we want to get the most out of these machines. We just cram everything together to give us the maximum usage out of the machines. We'll make towers, tripods, pyramids, anything. But I think that, Joe, sorry to, zero point, in, in our opinion, should be on, on every single milling machine. It should be the fundamental foundation to, 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 to the work holding. We agree. <laughs> Please sell more. <laughs> no, if, it's absolutely correct. If you look at all these products, pretty much they're all interchangeable within seconds rather than minutes, aren't they? Certainly are. J just, just show us some, how some of these can, how modular it all is. Shall I teach you, Joe? Please do. <laughs> There's a very small chuck. We can put it straight on our plate. It only needs to be a very small plate. So this is connected to your machine, or your rotary table, or your tower, you can stack them up, and on it goes. One screw, one small screw, and it's locked. So we've, all done, we've all clocked vices in, it's been a while since I've clocked a vice in, I must admit, but it, it's a pain isn't it, it's a pain, it's a lot of operator intervention. With a zero point, it, it may be a pain for the first installation, but you never have to do it again. We don't think it's a pain for the first installation. Once you get it on there, yeah, as you say, it's absolutely superb. The payback is hours. It really is. How long does it take you to cock up a rotary table? Hour and a half, generally. For us, onto the crane, onto the table, five minutes. We're there. Zero, zero. So you're eliminating setup time effectively with your zero point system. Setup time is a thing of the past. Not eliminating, but really bringing it down. Yeah. Do you, what, what do you think it's overlooked? You know, work, like you say, what you're suggesting, we see every day, well, not every day, every week, certainly, hundreds of thousands of pounds on the world's finest machine tools, and you get there and there's one, the one vice there. Why, why aren't people in looking at zero point and, you know, more modular systems like, like these? I think it's overlooked, in my opinion, because they can do the job without it. But that's not to say that they can improve the process with it. And I think that's the key. I think that if people can still do a job, they think, well, I've always done it like this, so why do I need to improve it? And it's not until they start looking at efficiency gains that are possible um, that they start investing in systems like this. But it's, it's quite easy to see the kind of um, benefits that you get from these systems. Not only you can present more components to the spindle, you can start um, saving on setup times and 
completely revolutionising the way in which you work from different methods of, of holding a part, whether it's a round part, uh, a prismatic part. The, the, it just gives you complete flexibility and, and modular aspects of it. It certainly does, and people look at it, as I said before, far too late, generally. The budgets are set, they've gone to the finance, machine comes in with a massive vice on it generally that takes up half the bed we can put some of the vices that i've seen that we could probably put 10 parts on for one vice <laughs> it's and, not and, necessary. and the other the other myth is you should put 15 20 percent aside for work holding but even if you don't even if it's what you said you don't need to spend thousands of pounds to get up and running do you Certainly you can don't. spend hundreds rather than thousands just to get up and run in and, and scale from there you can something like this is very very cost effective straight on the machine you can go straight on the slots or you can drill the bed of your machine and you can position them all over so now there's lots of people that sell zero points as you, as you well know is there anything that makes uh, this offering different from HWR? There's two things that are really key. And one is the mechanism. The mechanism is a direct pull mechanism formed by wedges. And it has three to four times the power of the existing systems out there. Secondly, we don't need to have an adaption plate here because we have 52 and 96 in a single plate. So we can go from a very small component or vice, or piece of work holding, to a larger, in the same plate. What's the repeatability, David? The repeatability, 10 microns, but it seems to get better. The more you use it, it's amazing. You tend to get down to about five microns, so it's, it's, it's odd. And this is interchangeable happens. between machine tools as well, so you can be using it on a multitude of machine tools, so you get um, that, that, that benefit also. You certainly can. All Can you explain that, uh, how that works and what kind of, give us some examples of that please. Well in particular if I move this one here, this particular part, we've machined this here and this will fit pretty much any rotary table that you have from something about say 180 diameter to 400 mil. This one plate can fit any of those, those machines and take any of our work holding you can, in your existing work holding, you can put the studs in that will go straight onto this plate. And another thing we see often on our travels is you don't always need a vice even, David. You can just have the pull studs and pull it into the, uh, in, into the zero point bed. You certainly can. That's all you need in this instance here. We've just mounted our nice little Sam Chili chuck. Very tidy. Makes it very easy to just turns very small parts or machine very small parts. So this one here. So again, well you can see I'm just playing with it like a jigsaw. But what Joe <laughs> mentioned there, David, you could put the pull studs directly into your component. You certainly so can. So you could pre-op pre a component with pull studs at the bottom and you've got your component dough directly onto, exactly. the, onto the base. So you're utilizing the machine envelope so you're not losing any Z-axis? not. All you lose with this system, out of the Z, is 27 millimetres. That's all we do. So, Geo, we visit hundreds of companies. Why aren't more people doing it? Obviously, it's getting more adoption now, but why isn't everyone doing it? it it's, you know, we're not talking vast sums of money here, so... It's, it's a really good... Yeah. Your ROI is weeks, if not a few, a few months, not years. It, it's, it's a really good question. I think it's education, isn't it? I think it boils down to education. I think that, again, I think that some people just don't need to see a necessity in it. And I think it's not until you use it that people realise, why, why haven't I always done it like this? And, and I would assume from your first sale, does it seem to spread throughout the, the, the machine shop? Yeah. And, and that, I think that the proof is in the pudding. Isn't it? Once somebody, once somebody starts to use it, it just rolls on. And they start to see the benefit. And they then. start to see the benefit. You've only got to look at that in our own shop. We started off with one. We didn't really believe it at the time, and it just crept on because it was so fast. And we could take this vice from this machine to that machine. If that machine broke down, we could put it on that for the evening or 
So Zero using your own shop as an example then, you know, how you used to work previously before Zero Point, what, what difference did Zero Point make to your engineering and manufacturing facility? Unbelievable, because we probably wouldn't be in business now if we weren't that quick with setups. And it's the speed of setup and the flexibility around the shop that makes, makes this happen. It's definitely worth mentioning the base, this is kind of the house foundation, isn't it? You've got one of the largest manufacturing facilities of work old in, in this country. And all these products, it's all modular, but equally you've got other products of your own that you own manufacture that also at the zero have. point. We make pyramids, we make towers, we make fixtures, we make special chucks, we make chucking systems. It's a whole work holding shop. You're also making uh, componentry in low volume, medium volume and very high volume, uh, complex and, and, and simple parts too. What about automation? Well, automation is a real big thing for us. We used to do a system of automation and now we're looking again at, a, it's in development at the moment and automation is a real big issue for us. That's where we see it going in the future. Can this be automated? This can be automated and watch this space because we have an automation unit coming and hopefully soon. Which this can be interface two. This will be interface two. Guys, a question to both of you. What are the downsides of using a system such as this? Okay. I think I probably know the answer, but Gio, Gio, come to you first. What are the downsides? I think the only, I can't really see any downsides, but if I had to be absolutely critical, the only downside that, that there is, is you, you're adding, uh, you're taking away a tiny bit of the Z-axis, but really, to be honest, that's not really a downside. You know, I, I think that there's so many upsides that, the, it, it just speaks for itself in regards to the setup times, the way in which you can present more components to the spindle, but presenting more components to the spindle with, with re the repeatability and confidence that you know, you, the, the, the parts are going to be where they were before or the fixture is going to be where it was before or you, know, you can use it as a, a kind of universal datum point where you've got all your different programs in there dependent, you know, swapping well, and exactly changing. That's exactly what we do. We use it throughout the shop. Yeah, and one thing we haven't touched on, of course, obviously, if, it's, if, you, uh, if you put the solid grip system on it, you can, you, obviously, the crimping process, you can use these on your CMM, can't you? So Certainly you can, can ensure the components correct before... Take that off and measure it. Bring it back. If it's not quite correct, or you want to do a few more modifications, or you want to part machine it first, before you do a delicate finishing operation, take it away, check it, bring it back. Do you sell this to the metrology companies? We do, one or two, yeah. Do you think potentially in the future the machine tool beds will be uh, zero point ready? <laughs> Some are. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. There we are. Well, for me, gents, work holding, it's a fundamental part of the machining process, whether it's this system or not. Personally, I think zero point is, like we say, it's the foundation of the machining process and you scale up from there. To me, it's a no-brainer. And David, sounds like you, you buy into it as well, obviously. Obviously, yeah. Buy into it and sell it. <laughs> <laughs> so, thanks for your time today, David. It's been great here at Tame Work Holding, one of the UK's largest producers of uh, bespoke and standard uh, work holding solutions. Gio and David, myself, Joe, Thank thanks for your time and keep those spindles turning. <laughs>